Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashion Nation. I have a question. Like, why is it? And like, even around here, there's no toilet paper and there's like bottled water been sold off the shelves. Stop it. Just stop it. Oh my gosh. Just stop it. Like, seriously, what... What do you think toilet paper is going to solve for you? Buying it all off the shelf. Everywhere. Okay? Just stop it. St it's stupid. You're letting the news media feed your brain. Just stop it. Okay? Fellow YouTube creator wasn't feeling well. They asked him, you know, da da da, for symptoms. So he told them, told them he got his flu shot. They're like, okay, you're fine. The only thing that we were worried about really is your asthma. Because, you know, asthma patients have an inhaler. Stop with the stuck on stupid letting the news media. Make you crazy. Here it is. Buying into the sphere. Stop it. First of all, the members of the House Senate Ju Judiciary Committee have stock. You are raising their stock interest accounts and they're getting rich off of your mass panic because oh my gosh it's the flu it's just another virus strain of the flu do you guys not understand that the flu is a virus every strand of the flu excuse me Every strand of the flu is a virus. It's a virus. It's not, oh, that's just like, and then they, they can't, now they can't figure out whether to call it a virus or, and, and I found this to be strange, they don't know whether to call it a virus or a disease. So, Center of Disease Control sending out, or, or, or is it really them sending this out? Who's heading this up? Well, it's not the president. He only gave, like, alerts for stuff. Um, moisturizing my hands. I got most of my pattern cut out. Just, like, somebody from Maryland drove all the way, drove, not drove, drove all the way to the Acme Market down the street just to buy toilet paper. I heard about this, like, from someone. And, like, can y'all just stop with the stuck on stupid like, people are driving from other states just to find a store that has toilet paper. Do you not understand these huge conglomerate chains are banking off of you reacting? This is a test to see how the mass public will react to the flu. Okay, you want to get rid of the craps like that? You, you got you got the dia going on with the rhea. <laughs> okay, make some Jello and drink it. Okay, make it. Put it in the refrigerator for maybe half an hour. Don't let it set all the way. Drink it. You aren't going to be running back and forth to the bathroom because, you know what? Problem solved. 
Uh, if you can't go to the bathroom, so y'all should have bought some Dr. Pepper and some, uh, <laughs> some Jello. See, y'all should have bought Dr. Pepper and Jello instead of buying out all the toilet paper. Oh, and some mint. Um, this has just gone beyond stupid now. This is really stupid. Now, I have a lot of my pattern pieces cut out and I have to take some extra fabric off of here for uh, pieces of the skirting. Yeah, pieces of the skirting um, pocket and uh, maybe an extra couple of yards off of this. And uh, I'm not going to panic. And you know why? There's no reason to freaking panic. Why are you panicking? Stop it. Just stop it. The more you make yourself panic, the worse it instills in your head. You're letting them feed the fake to you when it's the flu. It is the freaking flu. There are several different strands of the flu. And now this makes perfect sense why a specific reporter asked President Trump about the swine flu. Now, here you go. Why would that reporter reference the swine flu? And they say, if you've had your flu shot, don't worry about it. Because it's a freaking flu virus. It's just a new strand of the flu. If you didn't know, and I'm going to educate you on this, there's 54 strands of the flu. This would be strand number 55. that we are aware of that we are aware of and where do these come from a laboratory a biological laboratory stop just stop you get that flu shot nine times out of ten you're gonna get sick with whatever's going around and the only reason that they say it affects old people and this is true with any flu virus virus it gets to the elderly it gets to newborns because their immune system is still building um oh my gosh it gets to anybody with a suppressed immune system because your antibodies, your antigens in your uh, body can't correctly build up because it's just not there and that's why you're on a buttload of medication. Okay? But to keep that under control, don't panic. It is a way to trigger a section of the brain that you have made yourself sick. It's not the virus itself. You have gone ahead and psychologically let yourself get physically sick. Now, before I go back to this, you know, Coffee is a diuretic. So let's say you're drinking a ton of coffee because you really wanted that coffee. I've had my two cups of coffee for the day. My friend was in the bathroom. I had to wash my underpants. I'm just going to tell you the truth. <laughs> I know they look big. It's because I haven't like cut off the one upper part yet to like truly size me. I generally fold them down. But the point to that is, stop it. Just stop it. Stop with your mass panic and feeding the pocket of people that sit in the house seats. Pelosi just banked, okay? You just 
fed creepy Joe Biden's pocket and he's not even sitting in an office right now. But you just fed his pocket. You just fed burning hell Bernie Sanders pocket. Okay? And anybody else sitting in those seats of the house, you just fed their pockets. You got less money now because you fed their pockets. And these corporations that say, oh, well, we're willing to come in and help supply with this and that and whatever's needed. And it's only because they're wanting the money off of the mass public to bank on. And people are letting this happen. So do yourself a favor. Stop psyching yourself out. Okay. And these strangers that come from other states, um, or in general, people that are buying up this stuff, water and toilet paper, rice and beans. Now, why are you buying rice and beans? In mass panic situations, say weather, the first thing to go, and this is not a conspiracy theory, the first thing to go is milk, eggs, and bread. You know I'm right. I know I'm right. Something is not right with this. Something is not right with this. You understand me? The first thing to ever go off the shelves is milk, eggs, and bread. That's it. Why have they not targeted those three things? Because... It's fake and bake from the news media to get the general public to panic. Stop it. People haven't stopped working. Why? Because they can work from home. They can work from home. They're told, come in and get your laptop. And whatever devices we have for it, link to wherever they work. And the job economy is not going out of business. Trust me on this. That is not going out of business. Jobs are being kept. So do yourself a favor. Stop it. Just stop it. Because you've all that are doing this have psyched yourself out and made yourself sick. Just stop it. Or you're waiting for the apocalypse that isn't going to happen. Oh, this came from China. Well, did you know? Okay. Uh, cosmetic manufacturing companies have their sterile labs over in China for specific things. As so does the U.S. military. I can't go into that. I'm not allowed to talk about it. That's classified. And I'm not going to talk about that part because it's classified. That's right. Classified, not allowed to tell. So we have these laboratories all around the world. And I can't tell you why, but we do. We have these labs all around the world. And it just takes making a brand new strand of something. You're taking a, a dead strand and a strand that may be uh, dormant. You're combining those. You're adding something to it. Add something to it. Drop that one thing that creates a Frankenstein. Okay. Uh, it's not like Franken lipstick. It's it's not you no, know, it's not like anything that you see from uh, 
<sighs> Sophia Nagar. It's not like her Franken lipstick or something like that. I'm just saying they have Frankenstein something together. And, um, in the lab, just to get you to mass panic, just, just stop it. Do you know how that makes you look? Do you see how calm I am? I am trying to talk to you from a logical point and should probably be wearing my Star Trek shirt while talking to you about logic. And I don't have my periodic table pants on, but they're right over there. And I'm talking to you while wearing these yoga pants that I made. See, I'm giving myself stuff to do. Maybe it's a good thing I I don't drive because you all have like stop it just just stop <sighs> you know how horrible this looks it's a test just stop letting them get you do you realize how much money you just spent that could have been your vacation money and you just poof threw it away just threw it away do you know how many college kids in the big cities literally raid the Rite Aid when it comes down to something? And then they eat it all in one sitting right after they bought it. And they've screwed themselves in case weather happens. Oh, this, when I lived in Philly, in the 22nd District, Templetown area, happened all the time. Hurricane would come through. Hurricane Sandy would, was coming through. And they wiped up just about every snack thing in the Rite Aid. Except for the healthy stuff. They would not touch the tuna, the chicken, um, the salsa, which can count as kind of healthy because it's fruit and veggie. I don't know why they call it tomato a fruit. I guess seeds, but whatever. I know it is a vegetable from back in the day. Um, and they won't buy, you know, any of the potato stuff. They won't buy that. Okay, but see, they're missing out on nutrients. Now, if you're, like, not eating nutrition the way you should, okay, well, you're going to get the flu. It's as simple as that. Just look. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to talk some common sense into all of you. Stop. It's crazy how many people have bought all the toilet paper. What, what is, like, what kind of crap is that? Because, like, toilet paper is not going to help you with your shit. Okay. The mass general public let this get to them and the way to solve this is stop the mass panic because you've generally spread something that isn't the real to other people and in retrospect of that you have let the house committee bank on your dollar now, why'd you just do that when they're putting that money in their offshore accounts? Does that make any sense to you now? They put that money in their offshore accounts, and then they're going to give themselves a loan. And at some point, they're going to end up doing a, uh, a tax deduction for themselves due to this fake virus. It's the flu clean my glasses. It's the flu. That's all it is. My friend got his flu shot weeks ago and now he's sick. Okay, this is how it actually works with the flu shot. The flu shot is actually the virus itself. It only reacts with the human antigens and antibodies if in its dormant state, something clicks on about it because nobody really thinks about this. 
any strand of the flu virus could have a point in it where it will literally activate after so many days if your immune system isn't strong enough. If you have a low immune system due to the fact that you have to take a shiitake amount of medications for something and that has suppressed your immune system, well, you know, you let this flu shot happen. I refuse to get the flu shot because I know who makes it. Stop buying this crap off the shelves. Serious. If you want to stay happy and healthy and positive, and be blessed with what you do have. Stop with the mass panic. That's all I can really say because you're just feeding into the fake news media and that doesn't really help you. And then what does that make you look like later? Well, the, later on, that doesn't make you look very sane. Doesn't make you look very sound-minded. It makes you look like a fool. You can have a cold. Have some soup. That helps. You know why? Because of the protein components in that food that literally helped your body recover. Now rest. Always rest if you don't feel well. I had to lay on the floor for a few minutes from like cutting fabric because my muscles started to hurt. Um, and I really didn't want to have a seizure today. So I laid on the floor for a few minutes. It could possibly be the smartest thing that I do when my muscles start to hurt from doing too much and then I have to relax for a few minutes before I can continue. Why? I don't have such a suppressed immune system that I can't do something like sewing it's just a simple fact is I have to rest because my head may hurt from my epilepsy and then I have to rest for a moment now epilepsy itself especially the extreme epilepsy that I have does not suppress the immune system that is a neurological disorder so it d actually does not suppress the immune system. Uh, let's say you have an autoimmune disorder, which I do have fibroid myalgia. And that does not help the joints. It does not help joint health. Okay, that actually makes it worse. So what people really need to do is stop panicking because you're not really helping yourself. That's not making you healthy to mass panic. I mean, I hope this really helps with people understanding. Please stop mass panicking. It doesn't make you look too bright. I'll probably lose some subscribers due to this, but I don't really care. It's logic. Listen to the logic. And the logical side of this whole thing of which, in which, let's put it this way, in which the House Committee has decided that we need to panic the public. There's no need to panic. If you don't feel well, they give you 14 days to recover. Booyah, go back to whatever. Serious. It's 14 days. You don't need 15 cases of toilet paper just for 14 days. Nobody needs that. That's why I said if you do have an issue running back and forth to the bathroom, maybe it was something you ate. Um, and then you need to think about this, like, uh, I have my sewing pins out, so I have to be careful because, you know, there, we have pets in the house, um, and I always try to keep the area back here contained because I have sewing needles out, okay? 
I don't want the pets getting hurt. That's logical. Am I right? So I try to be logical about the situation at hand. And, um, oh, my goodness. A person driving all the way from Maryland to South Jersey just for toilet paper and water? Serious? That's, that's just messed up. Do yourself a favor. The only way that you're going to stay healthy in any situation is a healthy mind first. You need to keep a healthy mind in order to keep yourself healthy. Now, see, I'm being positive about this. And I'm trying to speak logic to you. The only way that you're going to stay healthy is if you keep a healthy mind. Keeping a healthy mind is key in order to keep from getting sick. Now, not too many of you are going to take this as it should be, and that's okay. Shane Dawson deleted a few videos because he thought, oh, I don't want people to think this is a conspiracy theory. Well, sweetie, you weren't doing a conspiracy theory you were telling the truth. If I had got to see your videos, I'd be like looking at that like, oh, okay, okay, this makes sense. And at what time of the year did this happen? It started in the winter, the later half of winter, and came right into spring. Why? Allergies. Allergies happen between then and now. People's allergies act up as well. So you may just be suffering from your common allergy. And you haven't thought about this. Think about that. You may just be suffering from an allergy that you have. I know I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> I am allergic to bullshit. And the more of this bullshit that people let themselves feed into, the less healthy it is for your mind. <sighs> I don't know how much of that I can reach out to everybody out here. So, I've been talking about this for almost 30 minutes, I think. Yeah, almost 30 minutes. And I just want everybody to keep a healthy mindset and understand something. Stop the mass panic. It is not going to help you. Okay, do you understand this? It is not going to help you. What is going to help you is thinking logically. Look, I'm somebody's mom. I'm somebody's grandma. Okay. Math and science and history. Uh, my favorite courses other than art, which I didn't really need. Um, but I was always keeping a healthy mindset about stuff like, don't panic. Why are you going to panic? I don't understand this. It's like, it's a psychological standpoint of letting the mass amount of public breaking news. And breaking news today, there's nothing to worry about. Nothing. You're like, oh my gosh, now you're going to curse yourself with that or that. And then it will no. And you know why? I'm not out there panicking and letting it get to me. You know, my throat was dry earlier and I almost coughed on camera and I didn't want every, everybody to panic so I took a drink of water. Look, I'm even keeping my skin moisturized. I'm keeping myself busy with generally positive stuff and I'm trying to you know, bring you the commonality of uh, 
not letting it get to you. If you let it get to you, then it's going to get to you. If that makes any sense. I don't know if it does. Uh, just don't let it get your mind. That, that, that's all I'm saying. And I really do want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And think before you do anything. Is this really logical? Maybe not. No. It's not really logical. Think with the logic. I'm not even Jewish. Did you know that's a Jewish sign? The Vulcan symbol is a Jewish sign. I'm not Jewish, but I have Jewish friends. So it's like, oi. <laughs> Don't be a putz or a schmuck and panic. Just don't. Make yourself look like a schlemiel. Which means bum, by the way. Um, just don't do that. You don't look, you know, just, just, like I said, just stop. Or the people actually out there buying up the toilet paper. Half people that are in the mass panic and half of corporate buying back their own stuff to make it look like you should panic. That, that right there is another thought. Right there. That is another thought. Uh, it's weird. It's really weird. Um, see, I almost thought about having my friend take me to the Acme for one more case of water just because of coffee. Now, I'm cool. I'm cool. I have extra jugs of cooking water. Oh, we, we can't drink the water around here anyway. And even if we had to drink the water around here, we'd have to filter it first. So uh, we'd have to think about how to take something and a carbon to filter that water because it's not drinkable. The only thing you can do with it is wash your dishes and take a shower and that's it. It's not drinkable. But, um, yeah, just... Sit down, make yourself a coffee or a tea, and the tea on that is just let it go. Alright, I will see you all for when I'm done cutting this out, and we'll have a little chat about it. Alright, see you soon.